Look at this. Everybody has seen this dunk before, but no one has ever stopped and asked, how did Michael Jordan jump this high? Well, the answer to that question is one man, Tim Grover. Tim Grover was Michael Jordan's trainer, and even Michael Jordan has admitted that that without Tim Grover, he wouldn't be nearly as athletic. And now that we know this, we can steal parts of Tim Grover's training routine to turn you into the same athlete Michael Jordan once was. The amount of sets and reps he did weren't extremely specific, but it was in between three to five sets with four to eight reps for all the workouts we will be naming. Because we know he was doing a low amount of reps and sets, it is safe to assume that he did all of these workouts with high intensity for the activation of his fast twitch muscle fibers, which we can talk about later. There are four main workouts I will be giving you for Michael Jordan's routine, and the first one is squats on a balance board. Doing squats on a balance board is helpful for athletes because it works on balance, coordination, reduced risk of injury, and core strength. Tim Grover said it himself, if your core is strong, all of your muscles can produce more force and perform at a higher level, so I suggest you work on those abs. The balance board also helped with reducing risk of injury, which is how Michael Jordan was able to stay healthy when his opponents fouled him like this. Him not getting injured meant he could stretch out his career and his body wouldn't fall off athletically after time. Also, the balance board just makes the normal squat way harder, which will help your vertical jump muscles a lot more. The next workout Tim Grover made him do was 400 meter sprints. Sprinting is a great workout for explosiveness because it forces your body to use all its fast twitch muscle fibers. The activation of these muscle fibers is what every athlete needs to be explosive because they are extremely quick and powerful. They work like a fast car, but get tired quickly and are the complete opposite of their cousin's slow twitch muscle fibers. Fibers. While sprinting, Michael Jordan's fast twitch fibers are trained to bring out more force with a short ground contact time, resulting in a high RFD. Being able to explode off the ground fast and powerful is what will make for that high vertical jump, which is what you do in sprints, explode fast and powerful. This is training your body to build a high RFD, which is short for rate of force development, and it basically just means how fast can your body generate power. The next thing that helped him jump high was his kinda good genetics. Michael Jordan's parents are James R. Jordan Sr. and Dolores Jordan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but surprisingly, both of them were not athletes, and they were 5'9 and 5'5 respectively. This goes to show that even though he had good genetics, he wasn't the son of athletes making him some type of hybrid. It was most likely due to the fact that he played sports a lot during childhood. Michael Jordan's parents encouraged Michael to play sports as a kid, which meant he was doing a lot of running, jumping, and whatever other athletic movement. One of the best ways to become more athletic at a certain movement is to simply just do it a lot. Considering the fact that his main sport was basketball, it is safe to assume that he jumped a lot, which was un knowingly training his vertical jump. Fun fact, losing 1% of body fat is an extra inch on your vertical jump, so us knowing that means Michael Jordan's lean body must have helped him out a lot. Looking at his build, it looks like he used to be around 12 to 16% body fat, which is 10% lower than the average, meaning a 10-inch increase in his vertical jump just by eating healthy. So now click on this video if you want to jump like Ja Morant.